Are you involved in landscaping? Are you deciding on a building site for a home, a greenhouse, or where to put that pool, or the perfect spot for your garden? Maybe you're designing a renewable energy system and are concerned with a tricky and costly task of mounting solar panels in the best location the first time. From finding a suitable location for beehives to designing and managing a golf course, for any project where shade and sunlight is a factor, it is very helpful and in some cases imperative to know the times of day and year a particular location will be exposed to or protected from the sun's rays. When you're involved in these types of projects, predicting how much solar radiation can be expected annually at a given location is one of the first steps toward a successful experience and in avoiding costly oversights. I'm going to show you a simple device that can give you that information. It's small, very lightweight, and needs no electricity so you can use it anywhere. It immediately displays the sun's path across the sky and shows what times of day that location will be shaded by trees or buildings year-round. It's so accurate government agencies rely on the data it provides to determine rebates paid to renewable energy consumers. And it's so simple to use, a child can set it up in less than 60 seconds. This is the Solar Pathfinder. The simple genius of this device is its ability to reflect the entire skyline over top of a carefully engineered sun path diagram specific to your location on the Earth. When I remove this reflective dome, the diagram is easily seen. These horizontal arcs represent the sun's path across the sky during each month of the year, while these vertical lines represent each daylight hour. When I place the reflective dome back on top of the diagram and look from directly over top the dome, we can see the entire skyline superimposed on the diagram. Instantly we know when this location will be shaded or exposed to potential sunlight year round. Let's take a sample reading for a roof mount photovoltaic array. To do so, the pathfinder needs to be at the specific location and height of the future array. Since our prospective array will use roof mounts, we will use a bean bag instead of the optional tripod in order to compensate for the roof slope and to ensure that the pathfinder does not slide off of the roof. Proper setup is quick and easy. First, adjust the instrument section of the pathfinder for the proper magnetic declination for your area by rotating the diagram. Sites toward the west coast of the continental U.S. will have a positive declination. Sites toward the east coast will have a negative declination. Our sample analysis is near the Sacramento, California area and has a declination of positive 14. So we will rotate the diagram until positive 14 lines up with the white dot on the pathfinder's rim. Second, set the compass for magnetic north. And third, the bubble level must be in the center of the circle. After replacing the dome section, you are ready to make a permanent record of the site shading. You can either use the wax pencil provided to trace the shading onto the diagram, or simply take a digital picture of the Pathfinder unit. Both methods require that the viewer be directly over the bubble level. Let's look at the information we've been given. Where the reflection of objects in the horizon intersect with the sun paths on the diagram, Shading occurs during the time and months indicated on the diagram. The small numbers in each half hour indicate the percentage of radiation potentially available in that half hour. With the present landscape, this location is only exposed to 51% of the annual radiation potentially available. These trees on the east side of the house are seen here on the Pathfinder and block 30%. Likewise, this tree in the front yard, seen here on the Pathfinder, blocks 13%. With one or both obstacles removed, this location's exposure can be increased to 81 or even 94%. If removing an obstacle is impractical, the Pathfinder can be moved to find a location providing more exposure. At this new location, the tree in the front yard still blocks 14%. But now, by removing only this one tree, the sky is opened up to make over 80% of the annual radiation potentially available. The Solar Pathfinder Assistant software automatically adds the monthly percentages for you. In addition, it makes adjustments for tilt angles and azimuth and dovetails local weather data to automatically give you kilowatt hours, kilowatts per meter squared per day, cost savings, etc. in a professional looking report.
The assistant software will not only impress your customers, but will save you time and is accepted by government reporting agencies.